Welcome at tutorial number 3 of the computer aided railway modeler called SCARM. In tutorial 2 we edited our track and we made a little bit longer straight so that we created some room to now add a side track to make a nice railway station. Let's open up the program again and let's try to find back our layout. I realize I click the uh, open file icon and I realize I forgot to save so I quickly recreate this track that we had with a little bit uh, longer double click uh, control and left click and move we had a little bit longer straight over here the 188 okay and that is good and this one control move hit slash to zoom to fit this was what we ended up in tutorial number two what we have uh, to do today is uh, add a turnout here a little piece of track another turnout and return to the main track so first of all we delete this one and there is a way to select more than one track I hit shift key on the keyboard and also select that one and then hit the delete key and both of them are deleted at the same time over here I like to insert a turnout let's scroll with the mouse wheel uh, through the list until we find the turnouts yes here is number 611 that looks good it goes up if I click it it has three little icons because it asks me uh, which of the three endpoints I like to connect it in this case I want to uh, connect it at the first point and it automatically uh, inserts and as we can see it has the same length as a 188 because it closes the gap exactly well the next challenge is to find a curve uh, that brings us really back to parallel I don't know the dimensions of this turnout so yeah if you if you know the Merklin C track you know that by heart of course but let's suggest we don't know that we have to look it up there's a way to do that of course we can simply google the uh, Merklin C track if I google and type in Merklin C Gleis Gleis is German for uh, rail then I find here a PDF and if I open that PDF uh, I come to this uh, document the C Gleis specification document and I can scroll down and then I find that there are really nice uh, drawings of layouts with all the dimensions and also a few drawings of specific turnout situations and I find out over here that what I need to get back to parallel is the rail number 224 also I find out that I need the number 172 to uh, close the gap uh, in straight to at, at the same point okay that's good knowledge the 224 and the 172 let's return to our track and over here I need the 224 to get parallel here it is 224 click and I want to go clockwise that looks okay and as you can see if I zoom in a little bit you can see that we are not uh, really on the same point here so that will give problems later and I better delete this one and insert here the 172 that came out of that Merklin specification document alright let's zoom out or I can better press slash over here I would like to have the turnout this way and in the list I will try to find that one yes that's this one connected over here and that looks good over here we need another 224 and this time we need it counterclockwise and uh, yes I think we can connect this with two 188 pieces one two and then uh, we take away this one over uh, yeah this one over here because those needed to become uh, a 172 
uh, we have a 172 over here and then another one over here I hit space and another one over here I hit space and now all we have to do is connect all this okay let's select this little part control left click to move it it snaps and let's do the same double click with this part over here it snaps and now double click this and it selects all the connected tracks control left click and move it around and it snaps and we are all set and done uh, right now we have a nice little sidetrack so this is a virtual railway station over here in the next tutorial we are going to have a look how we can easily copy and paste uh, suggest that uh, I like to have the same station over here we will see how, how we can do that in just a minute let's first save this uh, I can say file save as this is tutorial number 3 okay see you back in tutorial number 4